The MX Hilton Surpass credit card has been one of my favorite credit cards over the past year. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna give you a full review on the card to see if this card will be a good fit for you. Hit the like button and let's get into it. Now at the time of this video, which is November, 2023, the welcome offer for this card is 170,000 points after you spend $3,000 in six months. Now, I'm pretty sure you'll be able to spend $3,000 in today's market just in bills within itself. I wouldn't go outside of that and just spend unnecessary money because then if you accumulate interest on this particular card, then you lose in value from actually earning that welcome bonus. So if you spend a thousand within the first month on bills, let's say you paid eight to $900 for rent and then you put the rest in expenses for the month, you pay it off at the end of the month because there's money that you already spending anyway, you just do that three months in a row, then boom, you have the welcome bonus. You have to spend that money regardless, so why not spend it and earn free nights at a hotel? Now, after you earn 170,000 points, what you realize is the points are actually worth four cents. So that means whenever you go to a Hilton branded hotel, you will have a value of $680 in points that you can use towards your stay just by paying your bills and paying an annual fee. Now, like I said, the annual fee is $150. So the value that you will have up front from the welcome bonus will be somewhere around $530, which is not a bad value at all. This offer does end, I believe, at the beginning of the year in January. So make sure if this is a card that you wanna get, use my link below to help support the channel and take advantage of this welcome offer that they currently have. Now, that's not the only perks of this card. Whenever you spend money at a Hilton branded hotel, such as getting snacks or getting dinners at the hotels that are linked to the hotel that you're currently staying at, you will earn 12X points for every dollar that you spend. So as you spend money on a card, you're still earning points even after the welcome bonus if you don't really understand how a credit card actually works. You also get 6X Hilton bonus points for each eligible purchase on your card when you spend money at supermarkets, when you spend money at restaurants and gas stations, and on all other purchases, you can get 3X points on the eligible purchases that are not in those first two categories. Now, keep in mind, most credit cards that you have, such as if you have a platinum card or a Sapphire Reserve or preferred card, you have multiple ways that you can spend your points, such as redeeming cash or transferring it out to different hotels or airlines. Now, when you get a Hilton branded card, you're only able to use those points at a Hilton hotel. So definitely keep that in mind whenever you're looking at getting this particular card. Now, if you're enjoying the video so far, please just hit the like button, subscribe and click the notification bell so YouTube can see that this video is valuable and they'll push this video out to a larger audience of people that's looking to get more credit card content. Now, let's get back into the video. Now, another perk that I really love about the MX Hilton Surpass card is that you get complimentary gold status with this mid-tier card. If you don't know the different statuses that Hilton offers, you can get the silver status, gold, or diamond status. Of course, the ideal status to have is diamond status, and guess what? You still can get diamond status with this particular card, which I'll get into a little bit later, and all three of the cards that Hilton offer come with some type of status. But just from holding this card, whenever you stay at a Hilton branded hotel, you will receive an 80% bonus on base points you earn on every stay. And after you spend 40,000 on eligible purchases on this particular card, you will gain complimentary diamond status. And when you hit the 15,000 mark, you would actually be able to get a free night reward, which I'll get into a little bit later. But there are easier ways to get that diamond status. You can spend 550 for an annual fee and get the Hilton Aspire card. But if you don't want to pay that, you definitely can do that just by spending that 40,000 using the Surpass card. Now, when I first got the card, when it had a $99 annual fee, this perk that I'm getting ready to mention was not available, but now that it's 150, they just added another perk that will give you a $200 statement credit that you can use at the Hilton Hotel that you'll be staying at, but you will be able to receive it in $50 increments quarterly. So just say if you wanted to grab snacks or you wanted to go to one of the restaurants that are at the hotels, if your food is $50 or less, you won't have to pay for the meal that you buy. Now, if you end up spending more in that 
one quarter, then of course you will have to pay the difference if you spend more than $50. But just knowing that they add this $200 statement credit, that's just more perks that you can tack on on top of that $530 that I mentioned that's gonna help outweigh that annual fee that you have to pay every year. Now to get into that free night reward that I mentioned earlier, I love the free night reward because you can use it at any time of the year, there's no blackout date for the free night reward. The only thing is you have to book a standard room. Now, the way that you can really work that scenario is if you have the free night reward, and let's say that you wanted to go to Las Vegas or LA for New Year's, and they have a standard room available, but you have the Hilton Gold or Hilton Diamond status and you get to the hotel and you got the standard base room, you can ask for the complimentary upgrades because you'll be able to get upgrades with this card as well too. So if you in a standard room, they may bump you up to the next level or uh, what I've seen is definitely if you have diamond status, it's a possibility if you have a standard room, you will be able to get upgraded to a room that may have a balcony or a nice tub in it. Like it's just so many different ways that the complimentary upgrades that Hilton offer with the statuses can really pay off whenever you pair it with the free night certificates. So make sure if you can spend the 40,000 on the car, if it makes sense for you, definitely do it so you can utilize the free night reward alongside with your Hilton status that you earn from having the car. Another perk that they just added that wasn't available on this card when I first got it is National Car Rental Emerald Club Executive Status. That wasn't available and that's amazing that they added to the card. I have it currently with the Platinum card so it doesn't really benefit me because I already have it anyway. But if you didn't have it, what that is gonna allow you to do whenever you go to an airport that has National Car Rentals, after your first time renting a car whenever you go back you can book a car that's either full size or mid size they'll let you pick any car in the executive level that you want so if you book a mid size or full size car and you see a truck or a jeep wrangler or something that's in that particular area you can just go pick the jeep wrangler if you wanted to even though you only book a full size car i was able to pick so many different type of cars going to these car rental services just by having that status and guess what you don't even have to go to the counter to check out or anything you can just hop in the car crank the car up, go to the front and check out that way now that would only be available after your first time getting a rental car because they got to verify your information but when you go pick the rental car up the second time you can just walk straight to the executive area pick the car and drive out and then they'll just charge your car. So make sure if you don't have it for any other car, make sure you activate that feature so you can get bump up in status and you'll be able to drive straight out of the area and just check out at the front whenever it's time to leave. I hope you find the video helpful. Hit the like button, subscribe and click the notification bell and I'll see you next time.